Right, well, Christmas has definitely come early. I have just got in the post a Sonos One speaker. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's um, the same as the Sonos Play One, kind of, uh, but it's got, I'm not going to say the word because it will, if you've got them at home, it will spark them all off, but the uh, Amazon personal assistant thing, uh, it's got one of those built in. So um, this one is to go in here in the conservatory. The one that I've got in the conservatory is going to go in the lounge to match the other one I've got, so I've finally got a set of stereo speakers in there. Without Sarah hearing, at some point I'll get the, um, the, the one to go under the telly and I'll have full surround sound. <laughs> Might have said it a bit loud. Anyway, I want to do an unboxing of this. Uh, it's um, the first one of these ones that I've, uh, I've had. So um, I thought, uh, as it's quite new, it might be interesting to see how it comes in the box. Um, I've undone the wrapping bit, so I'm just going to open it up now. But uh, looking in the box, it does look much the same as the Play 1 when it comes. So you've got uh, the top level, which is kind of the instructions and bits and pieces. And then, Abba, can you take that very carefully? Okay. It's quite heavy, isn't it? There we go. And then the speaker itself which um, again, same as the Play 1, it comes in this kind of uh, material case. If we slip that out, there we go. There's a the speaker, so careful, careful. Got it? Got it. Is it heavy? Yeah. It's really heavy. So the difference is, oh, can I hold it? Yeah. Thank you. So it looks much the same, but hopefully you can see on the top there, that is the, um, the personal assistant thing from Amazon. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you, the, the, um, the top is slightly different. And actually, if I get my current one. So that's, this is a play one. And obviously this is the one. Um, same size looking at it. Uh, the grill on the play one is gray, where this one's yeah, all black. black. Uh, and the top, obviously, um, slightly different controls. Uh, this one's going to be mainly voice activated, but it has still got, uh, it looks like skip forward and backwards, play and pause on top. So um, I'm probably, without reading the instructions, I don't know if this is, these are skip or volume buttons, but um, we'll find out in a minute. So much the same, actually, probably weighs slightly more as well, but not a lot more. Okay, also in the box, uh, underneath the um, packaging, Got a um, cable to plug it into the internet, but obviously it's um, it's Wi-Fi, so um, I don't tend to use those. And um, it's plug, and that is pretty much it in the box. So I'm going to get it set up and see how it works. Right. So what we've done so far is we've uh, plugged it in, turned it on, and uh, you can just see there's a green flashing light on top. So I think the next thing to do is log onto the app and uh, see if we can um, find it and get it connected. Right, well I'm not going to subject you to a, a whole video of me setting that thing up. Uh, need to say, I got it going. Uh, it wasn't the easiest thing to set up for some reason. It wasn't as easy as the other speakers and I've got uh, another three Play 1s in the house. Uh, for some reason it couldn't find the Wi-Fi, uh, so in the end I had to plug it in with the cable, uh, get it set up, take the cable out, put it where I wanted it and it worked. Uh, it's all connected up now and it works lovely. Uh, Sound-wise, I think it's ever so slightly better than the Play 1s. Um, it just seems to be a bit crisper, a bit sharper, and a little bit more depth to it. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm no expert in speakers and music. Um, I just like having music on in the house, but um, I think it is marginally better. But um, something of note, uh, if you want to stereo speaker them up, so um, you can put two Play 1s in the same room and tell it to use it as two speakers, as a stereo system um, you can't do that with a, a play one and a one you've got to have the same thing uh, speakers if that makes sense but um yeah uh very very good uh i i like sonos systems they're just simple and easy to use uh and it's something that i've kind of invested in for the house now anyway back to uh the real topics of today uh, around evs and um the thing i want to talk about today is incentivizing incentivizing people to buy evs um, as it stands at the moment, the incentive kind of is the cost of running them. Not necessarily the cost of buying them, because uh, on the whole they're probably a bit more expensive. Uh, it's just that running cost. But in order to encourage us to buy them, what we're finding is governments, local authorities, 
they are uh, giving us incentives to help us um, to, to buy them, to help them to be more affordable and um, to make people want to buy them and use them in and around their cities. So we've seen things like, uh, certainly here in the UK, when I bought this car, uh, there was a government grant of £5,000. So that was taken off the list price straight away. Uh, and I believe there are still the, the, the same grants around at the moment. And I know in different countries, there's different grants. I know uh, certain areas of America, there's been a bit of toing and froing, uh, but they seem to be on the whole keeping them. Uh, other things you can get, free charging, free parking, uh, looking forward in the next few years, certain um, city centres, you're only going to be able to drive in if you're in an EV, otherwise you get horrendous fines. So all these little incentives all help. Uh, but one that caught my eye this week, I found really interesting, in Austria, they've had to lower, in certain areas, their speed limit from uh, 130 kilometres an hour, which is about 80 miles an hour, to uh, 100 kilometers an hour which is a fraction over 60 mile an hour uh, and that is purely to um, because the air is not clean enough to clean up the air particles uh, is what the reasons they've given well that's obviously now been turned on its head with um, EVs coming along so now the government in Austria are looking at do we need to limit EVs to the same speed limits uh, and they're trying to um, pass a mandate at the moment that says no that's another brilliant incentive. All these little things add up. If you live there and commute on those roads every day, you'd probably be quite excited about that because that's gonna get you to and from work a little bit quicker. So you add that to um, your money off, your free parking, your free charging, the grants that you can get for um, certain companies to put chargers in, so you might have a charger at work. Uh, all these little things start adding up now. And um, as the batteries get better, cheaper, further range, you put all this together and this is what is going to drive people to buy EVs um, and I can only see more and more of it happening. So I've spoken before about Oxford here in the UK, how they're going to um, initially, the very centre of their city, there's going to be a ban on EVs and that's going to grow and grow and grow. The same is going to happen with other cities, it's going to have to. Uh, it's all about uh, air pollution and we just see more and more and more of it. Uh, every time I look at the news there's another city with people with face masks on. It, um, it's got to stop at some point and uh, it would appear uh, EVs seem to be the way that the governments are looking at the moment to do that. So um, yeah, so hopefully some exciting times ahead, so hopefully some more incentives for us all and um, hopefully uh, a bigger uptake now of EVs with the the better cars and more incentives coming along. Um, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, I know I said I'd probably uh, do the car wash with that new snow lance I had. Uh, the uh, detergent car wash stuff hasn't turned up yet so hopefully that'll be in the next one. But um, for now if you've enjoyed today's vlog uh, remember to uh, give it a thumbs up and share it and um, if you're not doing so already subscribe to the channel uh, and you can find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at EV Opinion. Uh, I'll see you again next time. Take care.